I'm not quite sure where my mom got this delicious recipe from, but boy, am I so glad that she shared it with me. These homemade biscuits are absolutely amazing. They go great with any meal, perfect for biscuits and gravy, and let me tell you, you won't be able to put them down. Here's a list of all the ingredients that you'll need. Make sure to take a screenshot and let's get started. Welcome to the Cooking with Amy's Kitchen Show. If you're looking for easy, delicious recipes that are budget friendly and are made with ingredients you most likely have at home, then you've come to the right place. Grab you some pen and paper and let's start cooking. I have my flour, baking powder, sugar, cream of tartar, salt, my large egg, my one cup of whole milk, my three fourths cup of super cold butter, and I've already sprayed my pan with some Pam. Add in all your dry ingredients into the flour. Let me get that done. All right, I just use my hand, get it mixed together. Make sure there's no clumps in your flour. You can pre-sift it if you like. All right, so it's ready to go. Now time for my butter, get it in there. And you wanna break this down and mix it until your butter is about pea size mixed in with the flour. So I just crumble it with my hand towards the end, grab a fork and just get any of the leftover large clumps broken down and get it all mixed together. All right, so my flour is perfect. Now time to add in my egg. Now for the milk. You can use a spoon or a whisk. Again, I just use my hand. Start mixing your dough. It will be sticky. Um, that's the consistency of this dough. So don't panic, don't add more flour at this time. Just keep mixing it together. And then we're gonna put it on the counter and knead it and I'll show you in a minute. All right, so add a generous amount of flour. Add your dough onto the counter and just start working it, rolling it back and forth. You're gonna need it for about three to four minutes. That's how long it takes me just to get the dough to the consistency that I want, and it won't be sticky at this point. So it's ready to go. Add a little bit of flour on top, start pressing it down. Now you can press this into a rectangular shape or whichever shape you like and leave it um, about a half inch to three quarter inch thick. I like my biscuits a little thinner. So this is where what you want comes into play. So I grab my rolling pin and I roll mine to about a quarter inch thick. It's ready to go. I just pat down the thick edges. All right, I'm using just a cap. You can use a cup or a biscuit cutter. Let me cut out my biscuits. Get that done. And depending on how thick you make your biscuits, this recipe makes anywhere from nine to hmm, 16 or 17 biscuits, just depending again on how thick you make it. So I have my biscuits all cut out my first round. Just peel away the excess dough, place it on your greased pan. I've already preheated my oven to 450 and I'm gonna let these bake for about 10 minutes. For thicker biscuits, 15 minutes. All right, grab a little bit more flour, knead your leftover dough, and you're gonna repeat the same process until you have no more dough left. So let me get those ones cut. Again, remove the excess dough, set aside, re-knead, roll out and cut them out you get it and the last one I just roll into a bowl and there you guys have it fresh easy homemade biscuits and oh my god look at how fluffy they are slap some butter on these babies and you're in business you won't be able to stop eating them I promise they are that good I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching as always, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and follow me on Facebook for more great recipes. I can also be found on YouTube now. If you click subscribe, notification buttons on, you guys will be in business. I'll see you next time.